Are you trying to establish your brand as a thought leader? Start a podcast, invite industry experts to be guests on your show, and watch your brand become the prime resource for decision makers in your industry. Learn more at sweetfishmedia.com. You're listening to B2B Growth, a daily podcast for B2B leaders. We've interviewed names you've probably heard before, like Gary Vaynerchuk and Simon Sinek, but you've probably never heard from the majority of our guests. That's because the bulk of our interviews aren't with professional speakers and authors. Most of our guests are in the trenches leading sales and marketing teams. They're implementing strategy. They're experimenting with tactics. They're building the fastest growing B2B companies in the world. My name is James Carberry. I'm the founder of Sweetfish Media, a podcast agency for B2B brands, and I'm also one of the co-hosts of this show. When we're not interviewing sales and marketing leaders, you'll hear stories from behind the scenes of our own business. We'll share the ups and downs of our journey as we attempt to take over the world. Just kidding. Well, maybe. Let's get into the show. back to B2B Growth. I am your host for today's episode, Nikki Ivey with Sweetfish Media. Guys, I've got with me today, Rachel Weeks, who is head of US growth marketing at Reward Gateway. Rachel, how are you doing today? Hi, Nikki. I'm fine, thanks. How are you? Thank you so much for having me. I'm doing well. It's it's hot already out here in Florida. Uh, You're in Jacksonville, but you know what? I'm a I'm making my way, making my way pre-coffee. This is going to be fun. And I know why, because we're talking about something that I think is super important, it's going to be really valuable to our listeners, and that is what exactly is growth marketing? Uh, but before we get into all of that, Rachel, I would love it if you would just give us a little bit of background on you know, yourself and what you and the folks at Reward Gateway have been up to these days. Absolutely. Thanks again. I've been in the B2B marketing space for almost 20 years, and I've been lucky enough to work across a number of industries with a number of different audiences. But I really have a passion for working with human resources professionals and developing talent. And that's one of the things that's really important to Reward Gateway. Our mission is to make the world a better place to work by giving people what they crave it professionally, respect, purpose, and relationships. And we do that by delivering an employee engagement platform that brings together strategic recognition, communication, surveys, and other benefits into one unified platform and encouraging companies to leverage this technology to live by their own organization's mission, purpose, and values. That's right, because bad bosses ruin lives. (laughs) Thanks for giving us that, Rachel. And and you guys, I, I'm going to have to toot your horn a little bit here, Rachel. Rachel's been doing this for a little while. Um, she's got some experience. And she and I talked offline. And these insights, I cannot wait uh, to get to get out to you. We're going to sort of go through where this idea of growth marketing came from, where it's been, uh, and where it needs to be going. So let's start Let's start with where it's been, Rachel. Talk, give us a little bit of context around how the way we talk about marketing and and what we call ourselves and the functions that we do, how that's changed over time. Absolutely. It's really been interesting as a marketer to see how the evolution of our position has changed its own marketing and positioning. When I got started, it was all about marketing communications. And then it was about marketing program. And then it was about lead generation. And then it was about demand generation. Then we started incorporating the concepts of inbound marketing along with our database marketing. Now everybody's talking about account-based marketing. We're also talking about smarketing and how important it is to be integrated with sales. And what's interesting to me is that all of these, these titles that we use to describe what we do are really all encompassing of the functions that are important to any organization as far as developing their marketing strategy. That's right. I have to tell you, I had never heard the term smarketing before. So you just, uh, you just educated me a little bit, but I am familiar with, with what it refers to, right? This, this quest to align, to find that perfect balance of alignment between sales and marketing. And it's interesting. One of the things that you and I talked about offline was like, as that quest is sort of making its way right through the, the culture of, of the sales and marketing professions, you see an interesting sort of maybe byproduct where the functions within marketing itself have become more siloed. 
talk about that for us a little bit. Yeah, definitely. For a long time in my career, myself and people that I worked with really considered us to be marketing generalists. And we had experience across all the different functions within the marketing organization, you know, database marketing, email and marketing automation, content development, digital, web. Uh, We were focused on customer acquisition and focused on customer retention. And so everybody had to really think holistically about leveraging a variety of channels to accomplish the marketing objectives. Today, over the course of the past few years, what I've really seen is each of these functions become more siloed, but in a good way. Silo sometimes implies, you know, insular or or lack of cross-functional integration, and that's not what I'm referring to in this case, but really more specialized in that people are focusing specifically on content marketing, specifically on digital, specifically on database and email marketing. And that's giving them the ability to really hone their skills in that area of the discipline to directly impact the the goals and results of the overall marketing organization. Makes sense. Okay. So this is a case where silos are are not a bad thing because they're Uh meaning that, you know, more of these functions are being done or executed uh, more efficiently than they might if, you know, one person owned all of those functions. Got it. Yes, I agree um, with that. Thank you for helping me understand that. I come from a sales background and not a marketing one. So a lot of the marketing stuff is mystical to me, but I've, I love it when I learn a little something here. And so with that being the case, right, it puts us at this inflection point where what we're talking about, and we've seen it a little bit, right, where, where folks are moving away from, you know, like you said, these these generalists or, you know, just siloed marketing and sales teams into these revenue growth teams. And that's where this idea of growth marketing becomes really important. And it's important because of the functions that it it intersects. Mm -hmm. So talk a little bit about those. Absolutely. That's a really great setup, Nikki. When I first started talking to Reward Gateway about this position, I had a very clear vision Mm -hmm. myself of what growth marketing meant and how that had to be the primary objective of growth marketing had to be the intersection of generating awareness, furthering engagement with your audience, and then developing demand to accelerate the sales cycle. And so I knew that when I came on board and was going to be working with the cross-functional teams on this strategy, we were all going to be considering how each of the various uh, functions within marketing was supporting these three primary objectives. So I didn't approach the role from the perspective of, well, you know, what are we doing for an event strategy? And what are we doing for a blog or a white paper strategy? It was, what are we doing from an awareness strategy? And what are the tactics and channels that we're going to leverage to support that? What's our audience engagement strategy? What are the channels and the tactics that we're going to use to accelerate that? And then same with the demand side. And then what's always been, you know, the foundation of a really smart marketing organization is one that thinks about their primary objectives, plans against them, delivers against that plan, measures the results of what they've delivered, and then repeats. And obviously, you repeat having learned from what you just delivered and measured, but it's that constant iteration and evolution of the activities that are specifically designed to support those objectives of awareness, engagement, and demand. Today's growth story revolves around search engine marketing. Delphix, a big data platform, had hired an agency to manage their Google ads a few years ago but they weren't seeing the results they wanted to see. Being such a technical B2B solution, they set out to find a team that could take on their challenge. After countless proposals, they found the perfect fit. Directive Consulting, the B2B search marketing agency. In just one week after launching Directive's campaigns, Delphix saw their lead volume double and their cost per lead drop by 60%. 
I have a hunch that Directive can get these kind of results for you too. So head over to directiveconsulting.com and request a totally free custom proposal. That's directiveconsulting.com. All right, let's get back to this interview. Rachel, that's brilliant. And and it answers the question, the question which we we uh, talked about offline, which is, well, isn't all marketing growth marketing? And the answer might be, well, it should be, but not really, not really, because a lot, a lot of the time, if we're talking about marketing, we're talking about one of the specialized functions and we're not talking about this intersection and the way that you, you guys approach this, okay, awareness, what channels engagement, what channels demand or leads, what channels is it sets you up for success in, in that regard. So thank you so much for, for laying all of that out. Now, before we move on to the next little uh, segment where I've got a, a fun little question for you, any sort of parting wisdom for folks out there who are looking to make the transition from sort of the way that we normally think about marketing into a growth marketing uh, approach? That's a really good question, Nikki. I think it's all about working towards your organization's goals and objectives. And one of the things that's really important to us at Reward Gateway, as I mentioned at the top, is that we're all focused on our mission. Let's make the world a better place to work. So everything that we do across every department is in direct support of that mission. Now, not all companies have the same mission that we have, but every company should and hopefully does have a mission. Every employee who works there should understand what their mission is. And so when they're talking about what types of activities they're executing to support their marketing strategy or their services strategy or their manufacturing strategy, it should all be in service to what that company's mission is. For sure. Yes. I mean, I I couldn't have said it better myself and that's why you're the guest. So now, Rachel, that I have successfully picked your brain and seen what I could get out of it, here is the part where you tell us about what you are putting in it. So tell us, Rachel, tell us about a learning resource that you've been engaging with that has you know, informed your approach or that has just got you excited these days. Yeah, that was a really difficult question when you asked me uh, to think about it at the top. I feel like we are bombarded with so much media and, you know, I spend a lot of time on LinkedIn. That's probably the primary platform where I get the majority of my uh, professional content. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you though, you know, one person or one particular newsletter that's resonated with me because there are so many good ones out there. But I guess the advice that, that I would give really to everybody is to take advantage of the resources around you. Collaborate with your teammates. You know, reach out to people across your organization that maybe you wouldn't necessarily work with on a day-to-day basis, but figure out how you're both working toward, you know, the same mission and and how you can leverage the, the knowledge and understanding from one another to support those objectives. Do networking outside of your company as well. You know, we're all really busy, but it's important to just get out, meet new people, whether it's virtually or at a live event and, you know, just talk. Like that's where I really get the most of my ideas and and the most energy. I love it. I agree. People are absolutely a learning resource. uh, If you let them, if you let them be. And and so, yeah, we're on the same page. I also spend a great deal of time on LinkedIn. Um, And I think, I think what you mentioned there is important, right? Where it's not just like I'm a follower of this, this one particular thought leader or this one particular, you know, framework or, or school of thought. I think once you do that, you put all your eggs in that basket. And then if it fails, you can Come super hopeless about the whole this whole thing. So, so having this sort of like approach that invites different viewpoints and different approaches and just sort of sees what you can take and use from each of those is is smart. And it's actually part of the spirit of of this show and, and this organization. So thank you again. You've been super valuable. And I know that everybody listening out there, like me, has become a fast fan of yours, Rachel. So tell us, tell us how folks can connect with you. Thanks, Nikki. The best way to connect with me definitely is on LinkedIn. You can search for Rachel, R-A-C-H-E-L, Weeks, W-E-E-K-S, at Reward Gateway. And I you know, love to engage with anybody who's excited to talk about B2B growth marketing. Yay. All right, we'll have to have you on again. 
soon you, you're so knowledgeable on a myriad of functions within marketing and stuff that our audience uh, really finds value from. So I'm glad that we had you here today. I look forward to talking to you again. Thanks so much, Rachel. Thank you. We totally get it. We publish a ton of content on this podcast and it can be a lot to keep up with. That's why we've started the B2B Growth Big Three, a no-fluff email that boils down our three biggest takeaways from an entire week of episodes. Sign up today at sweetfishmedia.com slash big three. That's sweetfishmedia.com slash big three.